In this video we are going to see Honeywell non-spring return direct coupled damper actuator complete technical data. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Device Overview This non-spring return direct coupled damper actuator provides floating and two-position control for air dampers, VAV units, air handlers, ventilation flaps, louvers and reliable control for air damper applications with up to 1 square meter for 5 newton meters and 2 square meters for 10 newton meters seal last damper blades the delivery package includes the actuator is and the rotation bracket plus two cable grommets screws and installation instructions manual these actuators are designed for single point mounting general data this is universal shaft adapter, this is mechanical and limits, this is D-clutch button, this is function selection switch, this is removable access cover, torque rating is 10 Newton meters, protection standard is IP54, actuator's weight, without cables, is 450 grams, dimensions, height 134 millimeters, width 66 millimeters, Depth 62 mm. Full stroke life is 60,000. Reposition life is 1.5 million. Noise rating is 35 decibels maximum at 1 meter. Run time for 90 degree is 90 to 110 seconds. Product identification. N means non spring return type. If instead of N there is S, which means spring return, 10 means actuator newton meter range. 24 means actuator input power supply range. SW2 means equipped with two end switches. This table will indicate the order number, supply voltage, end switches, and torque of the types of actuators. Universal shaft adapter. The shaft adapter can be used for shafts of various diameters and shapes such as, round damper shaft is 8 to 16 millimeters. Square damper shaft is 6 to 13 mm 45 degree steps. Shaft length is minimum 41 mm. Limitation of rotation stroke. Two adjustable mechanical and limits are provided to limit the angle of rotation as desired. Rotation stroke is 95 degree, plus minus 3 degree. The mechanical and limits must be securely fastened in place. To ensure tight closing of the dampers. The shaft adapter has a total rotation stroke of 95 degree. Electrical data, supply voltage is 24 volt AC or DC, minus 15 to plus 20 percent, frequency is 50 or 60 hertz, power consumption is 5 VA or 2 watts. Power off behavior, if power is removed, the shaft adapter remains in position. Protection class is 2. Over voltage category is 2. And the rotation bracket and screws. If the actuator is to be mounted directly on a damper shaft, use the anti rotation bracket and screws included in the delivery package. The minimum distance between the center of the damper shaft and the middle of the anti rotation bracket is 85 mm. A maximum of 108 mm is allowed. Depending upon your mounting site, the actuator may shift in position slightly while tightening the screws at the top of the shaft adapter. The anti-rotation bracket features T-piece with a 5 mm long shank to accommodate for this movement. Run modes, the function selection switch can be used to place the actuator into either of two different modes. Service or off mode, if the function selection switch is set to the service or off position then all rotary movement is cancelled, and all control signals are ignored, thus allowing the actuator to be manually operated safely. Floating or two position mode, to use the actuator in the floating or two position mode, the function selection switch must be set to either direct or reverse. As soon as operating power is then applied, the shaft adapter will then run according to the control signals applied. Manual adjustment. To prevent equipment damage, before manual adjustment, you must remove power or set the function selection switch to the service or off position.
after removing power or setting the function selection switch to the service or off position, the gear train can be disengaged using the D-clutch button, permitting the shaft adapter to be manually rotated to any position. Access cover. The access cover can be unscrewed and removed in order to gain access to the terminal blocks and perform wiring. Wiring. I take one 24 volt DC SMPS, one selective switch, and the connecting cable as required. A 230 volt AC input supply is given to SMPS. Floating mode. One end of the ferrule two and three wires is connected to the actuator second and third terminals. The other end of ferrule 2 is connected to the SMPS negative port, and ferrule 3 is connected to the positive port. When I switch on the SMPS power supply, a 24 volt DC supply goes to the actuator. When I change the selection switch from the direct position to the reverse position using the tester, the actuator returns to the direct position. Again, I change the direct position to the reverse position and the actuator moves to the reverse position. This is the floating mode method. 2 position mode. One end of the ferrule 1 wire is connected to the SMPS positive port, and another end is connected to the selective switches NO terminal and NC terminal. One end of the ferrule 2 wire is connected to the actuator second terminal, and another end is connected to the SMPS negative port. One end of the ferrule 3 wire is connected to the selective switch NO terminal, and another end is connected to the actuator 3rd terminal. One end of the ferrule 4 wire is connected to the selective switch NC terminal, and another end is connected to the actuator 4th terminal. Now insert the connector into the actuator. Switch on the SMPS power supply. Now that I have switched to the clockwise direction, the actuator moves to the counterclockwise direction. Next, I switch to the counterclockwise direction, and the actuator moved to the clockwise direction. This is the two position mode method. The power source of 24 volt actuators must be reliably separated from the network power supply circuits. Ambient condition. Operating limits is minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. Storage limits is minus 30 to plus 880 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity is 5 to 95 percent, non-condensing. Warning, do not operate the function selection switch forcefully, it will break at any time. Use a proper tester or screwdriver. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.